Okay, guys. Uh, good morning. I just pulled my second coyote out of that um this new place here. I hope the enough's enough guy has had enough enough proof that <laughs> it's not hard to catch coyotes. Anyway, so in this in this series in this portion of the series, I want to talk about trap bedding. Okay, here about two weeks ago maybe a little longer I had uh, approximately 11 sets out I've been trapping the same oh my gosh I've, that field over there I've, I've been trapping it since November the 9th maybe from November the 9th until just this past Monday <laughs> and uh, I think I don't know if the coyotes are figuring me out over there or what you know but I'm just, I'm getting to where I'm not catching a lot, well, I'm not catching as many coats as I, as I expected to catch, you know, being that they're just coming time after time. But anyway, so I had, uh, I had nine sets out on that farm and I had two on, on another piece of property. Well, anyway, so they're about two, two, two and a half weeks ago. Out of those nine traps on the farm, I had uh, I had five traps found. Five of the nine were found. Um, and what I mean by found is, whenever the code approached the set, he he felt something under his foot that that he didn't like. So. I covered those traps up, you know, and just kind of took it as a fluke. Well, the traps got found again, you know, second day in a row. So I kind of got to thinking about that thing, and I posted a video called The Answer to Trap Bedding. Well, a guy named Tommy Clark commented on the video, and uh, he said that he thought I had a scent issue. So what I done before I started back to work on night shift, or no, I'm sorry, on day shift, I pulled all nine of those traps up and I re-bedded re those traps. I, I sat there and I took the time to re-bed those traps as perfect as I could and pay just as much attention as I could to getting that trap settled in the ground, as, you know, just as solid and firm as I possibly could. Well, after I done that, Four of the five sets I caught coyotes in. The fifth set was actually the set that I caught the black coyote in. Okay, so the fifth set ended up getting found a third time. So I was getting really frustrated with that with that one location. Well, actually, that one trap bed, it was a location that held three traps. So, uh, as I drove by the trap, you know, after I reset it, I looked and I saw a small hole in the ground, you know, about maybe two and a half inches deep and big around as a Pepsi can. So, I, I pulled up, you know, just past the trap bed a little bit, and got out, and I went over and looked, and here's what happened. This This is what revealed to me. This is what I'm talking about. Let the coyotes tell you what you're doing wrong. So I go, I go over there and I look at what's going on. And in that little hole, what happened where I caught the black coat, he'd spun around on the anchor, you know, so much that he kind of wallowed out a small hole and exposed a piece of the anchor cable. Well, in a situation like that, what I do I pack dirt on top of my old hole just as hard as I can. And I'll pull my trap over to the side, dig a new hole. But I'll try to put the trap in relation to the old hole and with the new hole to where if a coyote comes in and tries to dig inside the old hole, that I also stand a chance to catch him in the old hole or the new hole. If you if you can understand what I'm saying, I know that's, a, that's mighty wordy there. But um, I'll pack my old hole, if it's really, really bad, if it's a really bad trap circle, 
I'll pack the old hole full. I'll slide my trap over enough, but I won't slide it over so much that if a coyote comes to dig out the old hole, that I miss him. I put the trap to where if he goes to the new hole or the old hole, I, I still stand a chance at catching him. So, uh, anyway, so I get out of my truck and I go to look at him. What happened was where I had slid my trap over and dug a new hole. Well, actually, it wasn't a, it wasn't a hole. It was a flat set. I'm sorry. So, where I had moved my flat set over just a little bit, I got to looking and I, I noticed, a, you know, a little piece of metal sticking up. Well, the more I studied that thing, I got down real close and got to look. I pushed on the trap jaws. You know, the trap was bedded perfect. There was nothing wrong with the bedding of the trap. And, well, I got to looking, and what it was was I had not put enough dirt on top of the cable loop and my swivel and J-hook to, to keep the cable mashed down. You know, these cables, if they ever stand up, they're they're pretty rigid. They'll stay there. But you can put enough dirt on them to, to keep them mashed down. But anyway, apparently I didn't put enough dirt on it. It flipped up. The coyote felt it under his foot, and he discovered my trap a third time. Well, in that case, I just, I pretty much just, by this time, you know, we've been having a lot of rain, and it rained three, four days, and, and three to four inches at the time, you know, in, in this span of three or four days, it'll rain three or four inches. <laughs> Well, anyway, as soon as the rain is over, then we'll have two two to three absolutely freezing days down into the mid-teens or the high teens, you know, very, very low 20s, whatever, and it just it makes the ground hard as a rock, and trapping is just absolutely terrible. Well, it's been like that for the last two weeks. It finally dried out enough where I could come over here and set the new location, and I'm back to catching coyotes again. So, uh, anyway, you guys have heard me say before that, that there are guys on, you know, there's guys on YouTube that I've heard say, don't worry about your trap bedding so much, you know, just put it in the ground pretty good and you'll be okay. No, that, that doesn't work. You have to be 100% on your trap bedding. Absolutely no mistakes whatsoever if you make one mistake bedding your trap you will not catch a coyote you may catch a fox you can catch you can catch a coon or a possum you may catch a fox but you will not catch a coyote and you will not catch a bobcat especially you know and i see i see people catch, granted i see people catching bobcats you know making videos catching bobcats on exposed pans and stuff like that all that's fine but that cat a cat is that that is a bobcat and a coat if you can get past their feet you've got them caught that's all there is to it if you can get past their feet they are caught um and i'm i'm going to make another video in reference to this video about a coyote's association with danger and I think it's going to be pretty interesting I hope you guys stay tuned in for that one but um if you ever get back past the coyote's feet he you're going to take him home yeah if he's committed to that set and you get past his feet he's going home so, <laughs> I cannot express that enough, guys. 100% on your trap bed. I, I made a video earlier in the year about uh, remakes, um, how to perform, how to properly perform a remake and bed a trap. The reason I made that video is because I'd never seen anyone on YouTube uh, with a trap bedding video and sometime later i'm gonna i'm gonna take my gopro camera you know with the little thing that you put on your head i'm gonna take my gopro camera and i'm gonna give you guys a, a point of view video 
of trap bedding just right down to the very nuts and bolts of it. It's, it's not a hard thing to do, but you have to absolutely make sure that it is rock solid. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that the series is not getting too boring. I really want to teach guys how to trap, you know, especially novice trappers. I, I want those guys to not be frustrated. And not only that, I don't want the novice trappers to ruin things for the more experienced trappers. I'll brush up on that in my next video too. So you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But a novice trapper is an experienced trapper's worst nightmare if you're trapping in the same general location or trapping the same coyotes. He, he can really educate the animals to where the experienced trapper ha doesn't have a chance. But anyway, so it was my last night of graveyard last night, night shift, we call it graveyard. And uh, caught a coyote. I'm off for the next three days. So I'm happy. I'm going to go out with the wife tomorrow night. I made a video. Man, just starting my three days off great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.